everybody Ann here just sitting here in the tiny house just finished my iced coffee and now I've got to get out and do some stuff but before I get started on doing stuff and I don't even know what that stuff is I gotta show you something really truly amazing I was out walking around my property yesterday and it had been raining profusely for a couple of days and I found the most amazing amazing wild forageable here take a look Sweet Mary, Mother of God, what are these? Oh my Lord, oh my goodness. I found some smaller ones a little bit closer to the tiny house, but look at this. Oh my God. Let me get put my hand down there so you can kind of figure out the scale of these. Oh, are these puffballs? Are these puffballs? Oh my gosh, look at Look at all of them. I'm definitely going to pick these. Oh my gosh. Look. Look at how many there are. Oh my goodness. I need to make sure that flesh is white. Look at how huge. Oh Lord have mercy. Okay. Those little bee beetles better not. Oh my gosh. I cut one open and the flesh is white. It smells beautifully mushroomy. And I think that these, I think something's trying to eat it. I think these are puff balls, but I'm gonna know for sure. Oh, I don't know if I can do a spore print. Oh, don't worry, I'm not gonna eat these, but look how big and look how many more there are. Oh Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Look at all of those I've harvested. My bag wasn't big enough, I had to split it open. Oh my gosh, I just know these are puffball mushrooms. Look how huge those are. Here's my hand. They're so big and they are all over. I photographed a few others that were like, you know, up in that area over there. But look it, they are absolutely all over the place. All over the place. So I don't know if these are gonna get as big, but I am so excited. Oh. Oh, I'm not, I'm not going to touch it. I'm just going to leave it. Here's one of the first ones I found, considerably smaller than the other ones in the other patch further away. And look, a little critter had been eaten out of this one because critters know that these are delicious, non-poisonous mushrooms. I was so thrilled when I found these too, but then I found a patch of bigger ones. Look how big that is. I just can't believe it. And here's one just a little bit smaller, but yes, they are definitely puffball mushrooms. They may even be of the giant variety. I'm not sure, but they are are choice edible mushrooms and yes I am going to eat them and I need to prepare them fast. One thing you got to be careful about when you see one of these mushrooms and you think it's a puffball mushroom is that you don't mistake it for an immature veiled mushroom of some kind. Those kind of mushrooms will look like a puffball mushroom when they're immature but then they burst out of their veil and then you can see the gills underneath. So you've got to slice through the the mushroom to make sure it is a pure white flesh and that it's solid spongy and that it is white if it started turning brown or black or purple they're past their prime and they're just at the stage right before they're going to explode their spores into the atmosphere so make sure you cut through the flesh there's no evidence of a stem or gills or anything like that and then more than likely you've got yourself a delicious choice edible mushroom I did go ahead and eat this mushroom. I just got some ghee, put it in a pan, and I sliced this mushroom up and cooked it, sauteed it in the ghee, and it was absolutely delicious. Oh yeah. You guys have no idea how exciting this is for me. Those mushrooms, they're a delicacy, and to find as many as I did, and as big as they are, whew, I just can't believe it. That's a blessing. That is a blessing from above, that's for sure. So I'm going to cook them up today. I probably won't like film what I'm going to do. I don't know. Maybe I'll take a photo or something and share it later. But I've got so many of them and they won't keep for very long. So I've got to figure something out of what I can do with them. I don't even know. Can I pickle them? I don't know. I don't have any way to adequately dehydrate them right now because the humidity is so bad. There's just no way I'm going to be able to dehydrate those just by putting them on a tray out in the sun. So I'll figure it out. Anyway, I gotta get outside. I gotta get outside and do something. Look it, look it. Oh, it was a big, big worm. I guess they pieced it out. They were chasing each other, a big earthworm. It was as big as my hand. 
And now they're still chasing each other around. Look at that. Look, that was a nice one. This is the benefit of having your chickens outside. That unlucky worm just kind of slithered over here. And they're still fighting over it. Oh, this is hilarious. You're a good girl. <laughs> well, it's supposed to rain today, and it is so hot outside right now. We had just a little bit of sun a little earlier. So I think what I'm going to do is just watch the chickens. I'm not going to change anything on this little ramp, and I'll turn the camera around and let you see it in a second. Um, you guys have given me some great ideas, and I just have to decide on what's the best one. Oops, it's starting to rain right now. I wanted to show you a couple more things. I know this is a boring video, but I love mushrooms so much, and they're growing everywhere. So I wanted to show you this, uh, these other pawpaw mushrooms that I didn't harvest yet because they've grown. See that one right there? It has... Well, it hasn't doubled in size, but it has grown quite a bit. And then this one, with the bite taken out of it, it has really gotten much, much bigger too. And I wanted to show you, over in this patch over here, there's one mushroom that is getting ready. Well, I kind of exploded it, but where's that? Where are they? Where'd they go? Here they are. These are all very much smaller. There's a little cluster there. They have grown. But this one, see this one right here? This one, it's past its prime, so I'm just going to open this up a little bit and show you what it looks like. See, that's already started to turn brown, and uh, had I not done that, it would have just got browner and browner, and it will eventually release its spores out into the environment, which is great. So, yeah, that's what it looks like on the inside when it's past its plus it's like papery, papery. So, yeah, I've got puffball mushrooms. Shoot, it's starting to rain. I wanted to show you guys these mushrooms that are growing. I don't know what they are. Um, let me just take one and turn it over and show it to you. And then I'll do a spore print and look it up and see what it is. Oh my goodness, it's raining. <laughs> look at me, I'm soaking wet. You know why? Because I had the bright idea of not closing the van doors because it can't rain all day, right? So I decided to get some tarps. Yup, how ghetto can you get? blue tarps over the van. I couldn't find that little uh, silvery one that Francie gave me. So I just got a couple magnet clips, attached it to the top of the roof, kind of closed the doors in, and you know, it works okay. There's a little dip in the center there where a little bit of water was coming through. And, oh, the first tarp I put on, I forgot it was the one with all the holes in it. So I put it, had to go back and find another one, and then it started flying up. So I put the little stick on top. I don't know if it'll last, but um, at least it's not raining inside. I could have removed the ramp, and in fact, I should have. It would have taken me less time, and I would not have gotten drenched. But I need to think about this. I need to think about a better solution for when it rains. And if, am I just going to close the, the van doors every time? Uh, I c it could rain off and on all day. Or am I just going to make a little shelter for them over the top? so that their bedding inside doesn't get all wet. Now there's some wet bedding in there right inside the door, so I'm going to have to take that out and replace it because you really don't want soaking wet bedding in your chicken coop. So I thought I'd just share that with you. Well, all this rain didn't seem to bother the girls. They're back out hunting, pecking for food. So, yeah, I'm going to figure out a way to keep the ramp open during the day when it's raining so that they can just come and go as they please but then I'll protect the bedding inside the van. This is incredible. I just love these chickens. They are just so much fun to watch. And unfortunately that's all. That's all I got today. It's clear I'm not going to get anything done. I wanted to show you some more cool mushrooms I found but not in the rain. Nah. I'm just going to go in, edit this video, upload it, and call it a day. Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.